hello subscriber and viewer now we are in the next tutorial and in next tutorial our topic is radio button that is custom radio button in android so in previous tutorial we had seen how you can create the radio button and it was the default radio button so if you are seeing this tutorial i request you please go through my previous tutorial for better understanding of custom radio button so default default button uh, radio button it simply look like this means default radio button is having circle okay and it is followed by particular text that is the name of radio button but suppose you want to customize this loop you want to change the default appearance of radio button then you can upload the image here you can download image for radio button from the internet you can reduce the size of image and then you can attach it okay you have to just copy it you have to just paste it in your android application so in short if you want to change the default look of radio button then you have to use the concept of concept of custom radio button okay so here i have already downloaded the image from the internet and i also reduced the size because the radio button size is small so here this is nothing but radio button okay and whatever the image that you want for the radio button you simply download from the internet and you can use it so that change look of your radio button is known as custom radio button and for doing this what you should do exactly you have to just do it some bunch of code and this coding is required for doing it customize and for doing this you have to go in drawable select new and select drawable resource file after doing this step this code will generate and you have to simply add atom state check true it means if it is radio button is selected or true then the check image will be loaded and this check image is nothing but this one otherwise if it is false then uncheck image will be loaded and that uncheck image is nothing but this one you observe here i have already added i have already taken screenshot this is nothing but check and uncheck image i pasted it in drawable folder okay and this file is nothing but custom.xml this code is present in custom.xml so after doing this step then in xml file you simply add one statement that is android button drawable custom it means this custom is nothing but this coding this file that is custom.xml means this coding will be access in your xml file it means whenever you select this radio button then this image will open and whenever it is unchecked this image will open so for doing this case you have to simply add this statement android button at the rate drawable slash custom so i hope you understood this now i am going in going into the android studio and we will do it practically so here i am in the android studio and this is the default radio button okay this is my default radio button and in the previous tutorial i have already done the coding for default radio button so if you have seen my previous tutorial then you will not get any confusion if you didn't see please go through my previous tutorial so here once again i will not repeat this entire code so here i have already done the coding for this radio button i have done coding in activity file declaration i have done in string file okay so now here we will add the customize radio button for doing this simply go in drawable folder and select new option and drawable resource file here you should write custom you can write any name here i am writing custom it is better if you write meaningful name here you should click on text this tag is automatically added then before doing this code you have to create two image one for check and second for uncheck radio button i have already downloaded image from the internet so i just copy this image and paste in android studio in drawable folder 
यर सिलेक्ट पेस्ट ऑप्शन क्लिक ऑन ओके अगेन ओके देन माय सेकंड इमेज इज अनचेक सिलेक्ट दिस कॉपी एंड इन द ड्रॉएबल पेस्ट सो दिस इज माय सेकंड इमेज सो आई हैव सक्सेसफुली एडेड टू इमेज चेक एंड अनचेक नाउ आई विल डू द कोडिंग so that coding i am doing for custom dot xml so next atom android check then here you should select true value you can select false also then android drawable and for true state my file is check so here my atom tag is over now for the second atom tag you should write again atom android check my next step is false and then after that android drawable and uncheck so this is my next statement after doing this you see here this is the atom tag having true parameter and here false means for true state i am selecting check file otherwise uncheck your file name should be meaningful for avoiding any kind of confusion going into xml here in going into coding part and here for the first radio button you should write android button and here drawable and my file is custom then copy this bunch of code control c and here control v this is my second radio button then after doing this everything so we have done everything systematically according to the presentation that we have discussed everything then i am running the application click on okay here so here my app is running if i select mail you see mail is selected okay you can select other option now female is selected so you observe here the different different uh, look is coming for uh, selection it is like that unselection like that so in this way you can customize the radio button easily okay whatever the step as i told you you have to follow same you will not face any problem so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you are new in the channel Thank you.